Hi students, welcome to today's class. <clears throat> In the last few classes, we have discussed limit of a function. A very important application of limit of a function is continuity of a function. Various types of continuous functions, their properties and a, a very important problems on continuous functions we have discussed. Now we are going to see differentiability of a function. What is meant by differentiability of a function at a point? First of all, we are going to see differentiability of a function at a point. Afterwards, we will see in a interval. Okay, now at a point, what is the differentiability means? Continuous means already we have discussed. That means what at that point the curve should not be break, should not have any break. That is called continuity. Pay another name itself, it is saying continuous. But what is differentiability means? So very, very basic thing I am explaining. Let us take this is a two dimensional system, x axis, y axis, origin. Let there be a curve, y is equal to f of x y is equal to f of x. Let there be a point x is equal to a. At a point x is equal to a. So, see here this is the point x is equal to a. At the point x is equal to a, that means this point at x is equal to a, we know that what is continuity. Continuous means what? Once again, I will explain. At this point, uh, we have the LHL is equal to RHL is equal to F of A. Then we say that the function is continuous at the point x is equal to A. That means there won't be any break at the point x is equal to A. But what is differentiability means? Very basic thing is if you are able to, if you are able to draw a tangent at that point, what is that point? A comma f of a. What is that point? a comma f of a. If it is a a, y coordinate is f of a. Okay, now, if you are able to draw a tangent at the point a comma f of a, then we say that the function is differentiable at x is equal to a. That means what? So, when you are able to draw the draw, uh, tangent at any point on a curve, if the curve is smooth, if the curve is smooth, for example, if the curve is like this, if the curve is, can you draw a tangent at that point? No, you cannot draw a unique tangent at that point. Why? Because uh, there may be one tangent like this, one tangent like this. So, you will get an infinite number of tangents at that point. So, are you able to draw a unique tangent at these corner points? No. Understand this? So, that means differentiability tells the smoothness of the curve, smoothness of the curve, smoothness of the curve. If the curve is smooth, then we can able to draw a graph, sorry, able to draw a tangent. If the curve is true, then we are able to draw a tangent, we are able to draw a tangent, okay now, at this point we can draw a tangent, okay now, like that. So, this all about differentiability of a function at a point means if you are able to draw a tangent at that point, then we say that the curve is differentiable at the point x is equal to a. That means at x is equal to a, the curve is smooth. The curve is smooth. Here, without saying that one thing is very clear, at x is equal to a, you are drawing a tangent at the point x is equal to a means what? Before that, the, that should be continuous at that point. The, the curve should be continuous. If it is a continuous, then only the smoothness will come. If the smoothness is comes, then only you can draw the tangent. Of course, smoothness means if it is a smooth, then you, can, then you can draw the tangent. But here, it is a continuous, but there is no smoothness. Therefore, you cannot draw the tangent. So, from this, what can you say? Continuity and differentiability both are different concepts. Okay, so, that I will uh, discuss in the uh, next classes. 
So, what is a continuity dis uh, uh, differentiability? What is the concept? Okay. Now, if you draw, want to draw a, if it is a differentiability, general case you have told that there should be a tangent at that point. But mathematically, how to say that uh, a graph is a smooth at the point x is equal to a? Understand? So, let us see that concept. Welcome to this concept. I will explain the differentiability of a function at a point. The differentiability of a function at a point x is equal to a. x is equal to a means what? a comma f of a. Of course, the function is y is equal to f of x. Let us take the function y is equal to f of x. So, it is a function at x is equal to a the point is a comma. Now, we are going to check the differentiability of the function at x is equal to a. So, what I told? So, if you are able to draw a tangent at the point x is equal to a, then we say that the function is differentiable at the point x is equal to a. Okay, now. So, let us see that <coughs> in the x is equal to a, in its neighborhood, in its neighborhood, take a another point uh, x is equal to a plus h x is equal to a plus h. So, it is a neighborhood. Neighborhood means already we know that x is equal to a plus h. Here, h is a very, very small infinitesimal quantity. So, that means what? This x is equal to a plus h just lies uh, besides almost uh, the adjacent side of x is equal to a. So, for our uh, clarity, so I have uh, I have taken that point so little bit uh, somewhat far away. Okay. So, let us take this uh, here, the point here. So, this is equal to x is equal to. So, this point is a a comma f of a and this point is a a plus h comma f of a plus h. a plus h comma f of a plus h. Okay, now. So, remember that. So, this point uh, let us call it as a a and this point we call it as a b. Okay. Now. Let us join A and B. Let us join A and B. Let us join A and B. So, this A B is the secant of the, we call it as a secant of the curve. Y is equal to f of x. Why? Because uh, it intercepts the curve at two points A and B. So, the point A is A comma f of A. The second point B is A plus h comma f of A plus h at two points A and B. Okay, now. now, what is the slope of this secant? So, what is the slope of this uh, secant slope of a b is equal to how much? Slope of a b is equal to how much? y 2 minus y 1 by x 2 minus x 1. So, that is equal to f of a plus h minus f of a by a plus h minus a. So, this is equal to f of a plus h minus f of a by plus a minus a cancel h. Okay, now that is the slope of the secant a b. Okay, now as h value approaches to 0, as h value approaches to 0, see what happens here. If h value approaches to 0, this point is a particularly a and b point, you know, this point moves towards a. As h value approaches to, then the point b moves to a. Therefore, this point automatically will come like this. So, at a certain stage, at a certain stage, so this will become that secant will become as h value approaches to 0, b value approaches to a, that means the points are not value, the point b approaches to a at a certain point, so at a certain uh, limit. AB that means a secant AB approaches to tangent at A, tangent at A. That means what? The limiting position, limiting position of secant of a secant is equal to tangent at A, okay now, tangent at A. That means what? What is slope of the tangent? So, therefore, slope of the tangent is equal to limit h tends to 0, limit h tends to 0, f of a plus h minus f of a by h. Limit h tends to 0, has h value approaches to 0, 
the slope of the secant approaches to the slope of the tangent at a. So this is called now see here from which direction we have approached from for, for x is equal to a. So we have approached x is equal to a from right direction. That's why this is called right hand side limit. We have to call it as a right hand side limit. Whatever the value we will get that is called right hand side not limit to derivative. This is a RHD right hand side derivative and it is given by the formula uh, notation a plus f dash of a plus that means you are approaching a from the direction right. Now one question arises. So is it uh, to have a limit at a uh, sorry tangent at x is equal to a is b approaches from right side if it is uh, another point we will take c from this direction if it is approaches to a let us see what happens okay now let us check the uh, I have seen the right hand side derivative. Let us see the left hand side derivative. To the left of x is equal to a, let us take a, another point. Uh, so that is equal to x is equal to a minus h. Left side means what? a minus h. Right side means what? a plus h. Understand this? So this a minus h is in the neighborhood of a. That means what? It is just uh, in the interval of that means uh, just it will be here actually it is a neighborhood of a but our understanding I have taking I am taking that point x is equal to a minus a somewhat far away. Let us uh, draw this uh, perpendicular and this point is let us call it as a c and this point is given as a, a minus h comma f of a minus h okay now a minus h comma f of a minus h. Let us draw a secant. Let us draw a secant to the point. So let us draw a secant. Okay now. Right. So what is the slope of the secant? What is the slope of the secant? Slope of secant AC is equal to. Slope of secant AC is equal to. See here y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 y2 that means uh, a minus h minus f of a by a minus h minus a y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so here plus a minus a cancel f of a minus h minus f of a by minus h f of a minus h minus f of a by minus h so this is a secant of the uh, slope of and uh, secant of the line AC. Okay now, right. Now as uh, h value approaches to zero, as h value goes on increasing, as h value approaches to zero. Okay now, if it is goes on decreasing, decreasing, then x value approaches to zero. X value as h value approaches to zero, then a minus h value. That means a. Uh, that means what the c the point c approaches to a the point c approaches to a means what so this is a like this it will come according to that c value also approaches to a therefore at a point a so at a point a at a certain stage a therefore the secant a c will become tangent at a tangent at a the secant AC will become tangent at it. That is a limiting position. So a secant cannot be equal to a tangent. So the final position as H value approaches to 0, okay now, then the secant will become a tangent. That means what? The slope of AC. Therefore, the slope of tangent at A is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of a minus h minus f of a by minus h limit h tends to 0 f of a minus h minus f of a by minus h so whatever may be the value output that will come outside this is called right hand side derivative right hand side derivative right hand side derivative it is denoted as f dash of a minus so the right hand side derivative formula limit h tends to 0 f of a minus h minus f of a by minus h. Okay now to draw a tangent at the point a both left hand side derivative 
and sorry this is a left hand side derivative both left hand side derivative and the right hand side derivative should be equal to the value f of a okay now so let us conclude the concept so let us conclude total concept that what we have learned so two days so we have call it as a a and this point as a b and this point as a c so to have a tangent to say that a function a function f from r to r is a said to be is the complete definition i am writing is said to be differentiable differentiable at x is equal to a function differentiable at x is equal to a small a which belongs to the domain of the function r at x is equal to a if and only if so f dash of a plus is equal to f dash of a minus both should exist this also should exist and this also should exist finitely and both should be equal then only we will say that the comp uh, function is differentiable at x is equal to a this value already we know right hand side derivative that is a limit x tend to 0 f of a plus h minus f of a by h okay now already we have no left hand side limit limit h tends to 0 f of a minus h minus f of a whole divided by minus h f of a minus h minus f of a by minus h okay now right h here minus h these two values should exist these two values should exist this is separately this exist this value separately it should exist and both should be equal both values should be equal then only we say that the function is differentiable at a point x is equal to a differentiable means what we can draw a tangent at that point we can draw a tangent at that point that means it uh, for example if x is equal to 2 f of x is a function is given find this value and this value so if you are able to if you are able to uh, these values if you are able to find out these values and both are exist and both are equal then only we say that that function is a differentiable at that point okay now now what is the relation between differentiability and the continuity so let us check that so before explaining the next concept so let us see one notation what is that now notation we have left hand side derivative that is a limit x h tends to 0 limit uh, h tends to 0 f of a minus h minus f of a by minus h what is a right hand side derivative so limit h tends to 0 f of a plus h minus f of a by plus h okay now so these together we call it as a limit x tends to a f of x minus f of a by x minus a so this is a limit extends to a f of x minus f of a so if you take a, a as a plus h is equal to x if a plus h is equal to x then uh, then we can call it as a f of x minus f of a then h is equal to x minus a h is equal to x minus a as h value that means here a plus h is equal to call it as a x therefore h is equal to x minus a as h value approaches to 0 x value approaches to a both notations are same so here also let us take a, a minus h is equal to a minus h is equal to x a minus h is equal to x then x minus a is equal to minus h x minus a is equal to minus h as h value approaches to 0 x value approaches to a okay now so that means what so mathematically these two notations are same these two, two notations are same now let us uh, connect the differentiability and continuity so let us check it welcome to this concept if f of x is differentiable at every point of its domain f of x is differentiable at every point of its domain then it must be continuous in that domain that means what let us take this uh, x axis and uh, y axis and it is origin okay now let us f take a function y is equal to f of x in that domain so let us take a 
any particular domain. So x is equal to a, x is equal to b. f of x is differentiable at every point of its domain, every point of its domain. So here there are infinite number. Of differentiable means what? Everywhere you can draw a tangent, everywhere you can draw a tangent. Then he is saying that it must be continuous, it must be continuous. Okay, now that means what? If it is a, cont it must be continuous. It is a continuous, then, so if it is a differentiable, then it is a continuous. Okay, now. So, let us check that. Let us, given that, let us take a function, let uh, y is equal to f of x be a function and it is a differentiable at every point of its. Differentiable means what? Limit extends to a. Uh, both right hand side limit and right left uh, limit uh, both will exist. That means what limit extends to a f of x is equal to this left hand side limit at this point uh, LHD RHD at x is equal to a exist. Okay, now, now what we have to prove? So, we have to prove. So, limit extends to a f of x is equal to f of a. At x is equal to a, the function is continuous. That we have to prove. This value we have to prove. So, now consider otherwise, otherwise we can prove that limit extends to a f of x minus f of a is equal to 0. Limit extends to a f of x minus f of a is equal to 0. That we have to prove. Let us check it. So, let us take left hand side, LH, uh, LHS, left hand side. That is a limit extends to a f of x minus f of a. Let us take that left hand side. Let us multiply uh, and uh, divide with the x minus a. You can multiply. Why? Because as a x tends to a, x is not equal to a. That is why you can multiply. Why? Because x minus a is not equal to 0. Up to here, what is that? Up to here, this is nothing but f dash of a. So, the limit h tends to, sorry, x tends to a, this is x minus a. As x value a approaches to 0, so what you will get? So, you will get f dash of a into 0. So, here f dash of a is a finite value. Why? Because already he is saying that differentiable means what? It is a derivative exists. That means slope exists. So, this is equal to how much you got? 0. So, this limit extends to f of x is equal to f. That means what? If a function is differentiable at a point x is equal to a, then it is continuous at that point. But Converse need not be true. Converse need not be true. That means what? If it is a continuous at x is equal to a, it ca we cannot uh, conclude that it is differentiable at that point a. If it is a differentiable, then it must be continuous. If it is a continuous, then uh, no need to differentiable. So, let us see that concept. So, the best example to show that if a function is continuous at a point uh, there is no need to differentiable at that point is the best example. Let us consider a function r to r defined as a f of x is equal to mod x. Okay, now clearly the mod x uh, function graph we know that. So, this is a x axis and it is y axis, x axis, y axis. The graph will be like this, the graph will be like this. So, at x is equal to 0, Clearly, the function is continuous. That means what? Limit extends to 0, f of x is equal to f of x. It is a continuous, very clear, it is continuous. But at x is equal to 0, it is not differentiable. Okay, now let us prove it. So, at x is equal to 0, let us find out right hand side derivative that is a f dash of 0 plus. 0 plus. What the formula just I will write the formula? Limit has changed to 0. f of a plus h minus f of a by h. This is the formula. Let us substitute in that. So, this is equal to limit h tends to 0. f of a plus h means what? Modulus of here a means 0. So, substitute here 0. Uh, okay, first I will substitute 0. f of h minus f of 0 by h. So, limit h tends to 0, f of h means what? Modulus of h minus f of 0 means 0 by h. As h value 0, that means your approach is from right hand side, h is greater than 0. Therefore, h by h, h, h will cancel 1. So, that is the right hand side derivative. Let us 
check a left hand side derivative that is equal to f dash of 0 minus. This is a limit h tends to 0 formalize f of a minus h minus f of a by minus h right hand side derivative formula. Here where you are checking at a is equal to 0 that means substitute here this is a a minus. So, limit uh, h tends to 0 f of 0 minus h minus f of 0 by minus h. So, this is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of minus h minus f of 0 by minus h. So, f of minus h means how much? So, limit uh, h tends to 0 modulus of minus h minus 0 by minus h f of 0 means what? f of 0 modulus of 0, 0. So, this is equal to modulus of minus h is equal to how much? h. h by minus h will cancel minus 1. So, this is a right hand side derivative we are getting 1, left hand side derivative we are getting minus 1, both are not equal. Even though the function is continuous at a, we are not able to draw the uh, tangent at the point x is equal to 0. That means what? Differentiability gives the smoothness of the curve. If the curve is smooth and uh, continuous, then we can able to draw a tangent at each and every point k. So, continuity speaks about whether the function is continuous without any breaks, but differentiable sp uh, is, uh, speaks about the smoothness of the curve curvature nature of the curve understand this so but is the reverse is true reverse means what if a function is differentiable then is it continuous if it is a continuous no need to differentiable if it is a differentiable then it must be continuous already we proved it okay now so i hope that you enjoyed today's uh, session of this class basing on this now what is non differentiability so when what are the different cases just like uh, uh, discontinuity, we have removable, non-removable, like that non-differentiability, in which cases the function is not differentiable, all those things in the next video we will see that. So, until then, all the best.